It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Covering his ass. Well, it has to be done, I guess, but let's see if he might be able to give us a photo. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. I think we're done here. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Sure we will. Air quotes. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Ah, come on, most of their stuff is probably stolen anyway. You know, from home, from work, from one of the classrooms. I mean, that's how all the college students I know managed to feckin' furnish their apartments when they were staying somewhere. But, you know, wake up at, you know, two in the morning, have 50 people in the apartment, you know, having a party. Eh, that's what happens. Next morning you find things like traffic cones in the hallway. It's standard the stuff. The sign says Sandy Chen and Sonata Munye. I wonder are they home? There's nobody home. Curses. Foiled again. The sign reads Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. Let me guess. They're not home either. There's nobody home. Yep. Saw that one coming. Let's take it's a drink. It's a drinking fountain. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. Ew. God damn college students. Hmm. Joanne's room. Let's skip that for a moment and we'll see if their neighbors are around. The sign says Shelley Shinoy and Sarah Elmale. There's nobody home. God damn it, is anyone here? The sign says Kelly Hawthorne and Joanne Sherman. Yeah. Wow. Some punk goth chick. Well, let's give her the credentials, I guess. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. Hmm. Defend them. But I don't want to defend them. The editor was a dick. Shrug it's it off. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Because if you cry about it, you can, you know, pass all your exams automatically for the year or something. I mean, that was some rule in some colleges over there, wasn't it? I don't know. We don't have that kind of crap over here. Oh, well. Let's comment on how much of a bitch she is. So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? No! That's pretty harsh. Yeah? So what? You have a problem with that? Yes, I do. Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the person that's gonna beat the shit out of you if you don't fucking answer the questions. I don't think she has a better nature. So we'll make a deal. Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. Oh, that Fine. smile again. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Hmm. Well, she's probably not going to say too much to any of these, but we'll... You know, we'll talk to her. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. 
Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. I'll pay you. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. I'll just say what I really think then. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> helping out? <laughs> okay, by now Rosa has a number of clues in her notebook. She can combine the clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. Okie dokie, let's go and open the notebook. And we'll... And Adrian? Hmm, no, I don't see any connection. Okay. Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. That doesn't seem... To gel with this. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if no. I could. Twas a murdidly erdler! According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day, and nothing else. That can't be right. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. But then she wouldn't be sleeping right. Let's go talk to the RA again. Maybe he can shed some light on these new and interesting things we've heard. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Tell me of the bitch. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly, have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Wouldn't think that to look at her. But she is ignorant enough for that. Oh well. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Ooh. That could be something. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems. But, of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Hmm. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, sure, whatever. So, if she was sleeping, if she wasn't there, how did she know that she slept well? Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Dun dun dun! I wonder if Kelly has told me everything about the suicide. I don't think she has. Let's go and ask her. And see if she'll lie to our face again. I gotta say, the, the music in the background is kind of nice. It reminds me, me a lot of Uplink. You know, I love the music from that. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you wanna know? Progress! Kind of, I guess. Well, let's ask about her again. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. 
Okay, any more about Adrian? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out so, with the So, same thing again. Wait, should... Okay, so let's ask about Joanne again. So, what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so Psst, vanilla. No, it isn't. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acting just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Okay, sounds, you know, innocent enough so far. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. I couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. No, not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Not quite. Give me the photo. I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Huzzah! We have some Thanks, progress. Right yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go home. <sighs> this is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better Yay! Go. I have enough for the story! Wow, that head is really getting this to This is her. getting bad. Get to your pills. Fix your head, lady. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, then let's go to the computer. Let's quickly do some research first, though, just in case there's something we're missing. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. No, no information about Kelly. Nope, no information about Adrian. And finally, the suicide itself. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Really? Not even on, like, a news website where it wouldn't have to be in the print edition yet? Oh, right. well. No more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Yay! Now we can take our sleepy pills. Or not. No. What's... What's going on? What is happening? You're spazzing out and you're gonna probably faint or something by the look of it. It's gone. Huh. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like... <gasps> What's that? What is that? Hey, that's my line. The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... I don't remember looking before. <gasps> oh my god, there's a guy in it! No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Or is Conscious it? death, work, life... I just need a rest. That's all. <gasps> oh my god, what's that? It went in there. <gasps> it's back! And it went again. And it's back! Oh my god! Ow! Oh, it hit her in the face! Hello, bright eyes. Did you have to smack her? Why do they always do that? 
because you're a fucking ghost and you're scary as shit. That might have something to do with it. Well, and the smack to the head. So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. <laughs> no, it isn't. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've Hit been her watching again. you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn you, you know my name. Now say it. You're... Yes. You're Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Wow. Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. That was really... Um... Yeah. That whole interaction there. Anyone listening from outside the door, if they could hear both sides of it, they'd think there was something naughty going on there. Ah, she's just going to have to accept it. There's a ghost in front of her. You really exist. Oh, yes. Live and in person. Although I'm not really alive. And I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. And you're from the 50s. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from <gasps> one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Well, that was nice of him, doing that. So you're a ghost. Yep. You're a ghost. There's a ghost in my apartment. Hey, you're sharp. Took your aunt and grandmother ages to work that out. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. Took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Hmm. It started in the park. You mean the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. But... I don't want to go! We've got to go right now? Yes. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Are not you me, kid, me, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Hmm. 
Okay, Fine. let's go. Let's go. That's the spirit. Figuratively speaking, of course. After you. Ooh, spooky. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. <gasps> oh my god! What is that? Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. So is this a cutscene or do now I control watch it? And learn. Why Looks like so a cutscene. Down, beautiful. Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Aha! So I can control him. Firm, glib, or charming. Firm. I want you to listen to me, girly. Your tears won't win any sympathy from me. So tell me what the story is so we can both get out of here. Stay firm. Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Hmm. Let's try to calm her down. She's a bit, uh, out of it. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. I run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Hmm. Okay, let's just give it right back. Yeah, keep talking like that, sister, and you'll be doing the running. Now why don't you shut your yap and calm the hell down? You. Yeah? I know it's you. Who? You're him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave! Alright. Hmm. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Yes, we will be back. For this is interesting. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No, I really should go to bed.